We've been using the Brava Smart Oven for over a year and we recently upgraded from the Chef's Choice Edition to the brand new Brava Glass. The Brava Glass comes with a glass door, the name already implies there is something with glass to it, and a wireless temperature sensor and all of the accessories that Brava offers. So in this video, I share with you what sets the Brava Smart Oven apart from some of the other appliances that we have, what appliances you can replace with the Brava, how it's been working us out for us as a family of four who consumes a predominantly animal-based diet, and what's new in the Brava and how that compares to the other editions. And I'll also share with you a discount code, so check out the description so you can use that if you decide to give the Brava Smart Oven a try. Also make sure you check out my affiliate disclaimer in the description so you know what's going on. And with that, we're gonna talk about what sets the Brava Smart Oven apart. Now the Brava Smart Oven is a countertop oven that uses uh, powerful pulses of light to air fry, cook, bake, broil, sear, dehydrate, and reheat food. And what I really like about the Brava is that it's not only incredibly powerful and fast, but also very precise, meaning that you can cook multiple ingredients at different temperatures at the same time. So practically what that means is you have, the Brava has like two layers, you know, and each layer has or offers three cooking zones on the back, in the middle, and on the front. So what that means is you could, for example, fry or sear a steak on the back, cook some veggies in the middle, and something else in the front, all in one at the same time, at different temperatures. And because the oven is so, so so precise, there is no bleeding over, meaning that you can make sure that the steak gets cooked at a very high temperature without negatively or burning the veggies, which are right next to it. That's incredible. And it means it can, the Brava can really speed up the cooking process because you can cook multiple ingredients at the same time in one oven. That's just unbelievable, you know, especially if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of time for cooking, using the Brava, you can cook an entire meal in one go and don't have to worry about, you know, cleaning a, a couple of different pots and pans, etc. Speaking of cleaning, the Brava oven is incredibly easy to maintain and clean. What we do is, you know, every so often we wipe the inside with a, you know, with a, with a cloth, uh, something that's not abrasive, obviously, you know, you know not a, 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 you know, sponge or whatever. Uh, steel wool or anything I would not use, but just a you know a regular sponge is perfectly fine, non-toxic, you know, cleaner, maybe some mild soap or whatever. That's pretty much it. There are certain parts of the oven inside the oven you don't even have to clean, like for example the heating elements, which are basically very powerful light bulbs. Um, you don't have to clean any residue, any grease that might be on them gets actually burned off by the heat when the Brava oven is on. So don't worry about it. Don't even touch them. You know, it's um, you, you might actually break them if you do. So leave them alone. Beyond that, very easy to clean. There's a crumb tray that we, you know, every so often take out, you know, empty, wipe off. And that's pretty much it. There is not a whole lot of going on. The Brava oven is also made out of high quality materials like aerospace grade aluminum and stainless steel. And Brava glass, as the name implies, has a glass door. So it's a special glass that can withstand those incredibly high temperatures that you know the material gets exposed to during cooking one of the things that i always look out for whenever i you know do anything cooking related whenever we buy appliances or pans or pots is to make sure that they are made using materials that are non-toxic the problem is that most non-stick cooking materials are made of coatings that contain toxins like you know teflon or a certain you know ceramic kind of materials and i try to stay away from those now a couple of the trays that come with the Brava are also non-stick, but they are made using a water-based coating that is non-toxic. I've done some research, I've looked at all the scientific evidence, I've not found any evidence whatsoever that the coating used for those materials contain any toxins. So I really like this, and you get the benefits of the you know, non-stick surface, of course. Um, there is also a, a wide variety of recipes, I think they're like... 7,000 or some crazy number of recipes and presets that are curated by Brava chefs that you can use to, you know, either discover new dishes, new recipes, or to look up, you know, something that you want to cook and chances are there's already a recipe for that. So you don't have to worry about knowing how to cook certain things, even if it's a multi-step process, multi-step recipes that Brava has most of that built in. You can just look it up. There's a touch screen on the top of the oven. Uh, you could also use your phone and the mobile app, of course, but we typically use the touchscreen and you can look up recipes, you know, let's say you want to, you know, 
make fries or you know rice or a serious steak or you know to different doneness levels etc all of that part of the bravo you just you know select what you want and bravo tells you exactly step by step what you need to do to make that dish happen and it if you follow the instructions you get the same results every single time that's also one thing you know if i cook something you know like you know freestyle on the stove the results are usually always a little bit different you know even my eggs you know sometimes they're a little softer sometimes they're less you know at the steak you know it, there's always a certain variation which might be fine but if you like your meals done a certain way the brava delivers reliable and consistent results every single time and i really like this some of the downsides of the brava certainly you know you require a dedicated electrical circuit at 20 with a 20 amp breaker because the, the oven is incredibly powerful much like if you have an electrical oven you know or stove you need a dedicated circuit the brava is no different you need a 20 amp circuit so don't plug it into a 10 or 15 you know amp circuit it might you know trip the breaker in the best case scenario make you know your light flicker or you know cause some damage to your circuits you don't want that so get a dedicated circuit and breaker that's what we've done and then you don't, won't have any any issues the second downside is the limitation of how much food you can cook it's a countertop oven it's reasonably sized you know it's not humongous it's not huge it's also not very tiny it's i think it's a it's a good size for most people but if you're a family of four who is used to consuming a lot of food and to maybe used to cooking in bulk like we do then the brava might not be big enough to cook everything you know using the oven so and that's one of the things that we've discovered that we use actually the brava to augment our some of our other appliances we'll talk about what appliances the brava can replace but it, what we do is we use the brava in addition to our stove or to our oven you know, for example in the morning when we fry eggs we might do the eggs on the on the stove and we might do the bacon in the brava because it's very much you know non-messy there is no grease you know splattering around etc it's all contained within the oven and it cooks the bacon to perfection depending on how you want it. if you want it crispy or more soft you know you can change all of that it's it's really incredibly powerful and convenient to get the food done in exactly the way you want to um, but again we use the brava and we use the stove or we use the oven or we use the brava and we use the grill um, simply because we eat a lot we typically my wife and i well the kids too we only eat twice a day sometimes only once a day and so when we eat we eat larger amounts and we also often cook especially with protein you know if we cook steaks or you know meat patties burger patties or whatever we cook more than what we eat in a single meal so we can reheat it and then you know save some some time basically so we don't have to cook from scratch again and so with that as a family of four who consumes above average amounts of food i would i want to say <laughs> per meal the brava alone wouldn't be big enough so we use it in combination to speed up the cooking process so we don't have to wait you know uh, sometimes even you know, all of us eat eggs in the morning usually and so we do some of the eggs on the stove some of the eggs in the brava so we can all eat at the same time instead of having you know because whoever gets the eggs done first typically has cold eggs by the time all the other eggs are done or the last person has their eggs because we want to eat together and so that makes it more convenient and saves some cooking time basically and make sure we can all eat warm meals at the same time now in terms of what appliances the brava can replace for us it hasn't really entirely replaced any individual appliance but it has augmented the appliances we have but more generally speaking um, you can replace a stove an oven a grill a slow cooker or crock pot um, a microwave not for reheating liquids but for reheating food for sure or for cooking food you can replace a food dehydrator we've dehydrated pears and mushrooms in our brava you can replace an air fryer and a rice cooker so there are a lot of appliances you can potentially replace especially if you're single a couple or a small family that doesn't eat the same or consume the same amount of food as we do per meal you might only need the brava and nothing else and you have an all-in-one appliance that's powerful that produces uh, repeatable results that just makes food taste incredibly good and cooks it exactly how you want it and offers a ton of recipes that you can discover that you might not have even known about now there are a few things that uh, the brava cannot replace like a pressure cooker you know cannot replace a smoker or a steam oven it's not a steam oven you know it's not a smoker so those things you would still have to have or use 
dedicated appliances, like we have a smoker on our patio if you want to smoke brisket, etc. You know, that's something a Brava cannot do. But most everything else you can use the Brava for, and it's probably even a better version than any of the other dedicated appliances for that matter. Now, let's talk about specifically what's new with the Brava glass, because the Brava, it's not an entirely, the Brava glass is not an entirely new oven. It's a new addition that joins the existing Brava family. And there are a couple of things that are new with the glass, with the Brava glass. And one is, as the name already implies, it has a glass door. And, it, you know, the thing is with the glass door is you can see the food, right? I mean, it's a no-brainer. Most regular ovens have a glass door so you can see what's going on inside. While that's not absolutely necessary because all the Bravas come with a built-in camera that you can use to monitor the food, you know, while the Brava is cooking, you can actually see on the touchscreen on top, you can see a view of the camera so you can see what's what's happening to your food even though you, you know you cannot physically see inside you can also monitor the camera through the mobile app so there are ways of of monitoring the food which arguably is not necessary in most cases because once you've figured out how the brava cooks and how to use it you know the results are very much repeatable you always get the same results if you cook the you know same or similar foods so you don't have to like watch it all the time and monitor or whatever, open up and check how the food is done. You know, the Brava does a very good job at, at cooking, but still it's convenient sometimes to just be able to see what's going on inside, especially if you cook something that you haven't cooked before. And I would argue that having a glass door that you can see through is much more convenient than having to use a camera, which might get, you know, dirty. You have to wipe the lens every so often. The resolution is obviously not the same as the resolution of your physical eyes, right? So I really like the fact that I can just look through the glass door and see what's going on inside. It also looks cool um, when, you know, the light bulbs come on and, you know, can you can see how did that energy transfer into the food and how it, you know, sizzles and everything. But it's just a convenience and I really, really like that. The second, I want to say significant upgrade that Brava has done to the glass edition is the inclusion of a wireless temperature probe. You get the wire temperature probe with the Brava glass as well, and that's the one you actually get with all the other editions. So the wire, the wire probe works well. It's incredibly reliable and it doesn't need batteries, of course. But there are a couple of minor inconveniences associated with the wired probe. And one is, you know, the, the wire, the probe is only or has a wire that has a certain length. And so that kind of limits where you have to place the food on the tray so you can stick the probe, let's say, into a piece of meat or whatever, if you want to have it cooked to a certain doneness level. So there are certain, you know, physical limitations of where you can place the food. The second and I think more uh, inconvenient aspect of the wired probe is getting it in and out because there is a port on the inside that where you have to plug it in, you know, before you start cooking. And then once you're done cooking, you have to unplug it. And especially if the, the oven is hot, the probe is hot and you wear mittens, you know, getting that out where you have not the same dexterity as, you know, if you don't wear any mittens is kind of a challenge. You almost have to wait until, you know, the Brava has cooled down, the probe has cooled down, and then, you know, not forget to take the probe out so you can clean it. The wireless probe is significantly more convenient. You know, you, it's just like a, you know, it's like a little stick, like a toothpick, a big toothpick at the end of the day. You know, you stick it into the meat wherever you want to. It doesn't really matter where the meat or the, the food is positioned on the tray. You put it in, you let it do its thing. And then when you take it out, when you take out the tray, you get you know, the probe comes with it and you can then easily take it out and clean it and put it away for future use. The downside of the wireless probe, of course, is, you know, it needs to be, it's battery powered. So it comes with a little, you know, charging dock that has two uh, regular batteries and you plug it in and it charges. So every so often you have to replace the batteries. But beyond that, it's significantly more convenient as far as I'm concerned. My wife loves it too, significantly more than the wired probe, you know, where the cable can wear out or, you know, there are, there are potential issues associated with, you know, with wires and hot temperatures and, you know, plugging them in and out a lot. So I, we really like the wireless probe. But if that's not your, you know, cup of tea, the Brava class comes also with a wired one. So you can use that, always use that if that's your preference. Uh, the glass also comes with all of the accessories, nine in total, that Brava has to offer. That includes three metal trays, a glass tray, the egg tray, muffin tin, loaf pan, square pan, and the chef's pan, which is kind of a, like a crock pot. You can also use it. We use it in the in the regular oven, or we can even use it in the Brava to bake bread. You know, we occasionally do sourdough bread, even though we are predominantly on an animal-based diet. 
uh, but that's you know every every month or so we we make we bake bread uh, from scratch. My wife does that is, <laughs> and so you can use the chef's pen for that. Um, and we really like this. How we have been using the Brava glass, well, or Brava in general, but also in particular the Brava glass that we got uh, just a couple of months ago. We've used it really for anything from steak, bacon, eggs, meat patties, chicken soup, baked acorn squash, chocolate cake. I think we made once or twice for a birthday using coconut flour. We dehydrated mushrooms and pears. Incredibly convenient for that. You just put in the slices or, you know, you, you slice either the mushrooms or the pears, put it in for, I don't know, 12 hours or so, and they come out perfectly dehydrated the next day. Let it run overnight. We've cooked white rice in it. So we've done a lot of things with the Brava and we've only scratched the surface of what that oven can do in terms of, you know, all the different recipes, the multi-step recipes. There is even an advanced mode where you can put together your own recipes using different steps and different ingredients at different temperatures. I mean, you can, it's, it's as advanced as you want it to be or as simple as you want it to be. If you just want to bake, you know, eggs, uh, maybe even, you know, something like, um, you know, poached eggs, you can do that. You just follow a few simple steps. It tells you exactly on the screen what you need to do, uh, what you need to put in, like the eggs with a spoon of water or whatever, if you want to make them poached. And the results are incredible and very consistent. And food is just great. It comes out of the Brava. In terms of pricing, um, now the glass edition is the most expensive edition of the Brava for various reasons. It's the most advanced one. It comes with the most features and the most accessories. So it starts at about $1,995, which is not exactly inexpensive. But again, depending on who you are, you know, if that might be your only appliance, you it might be cheaper than buying, you know, five different appliances to do all of the things that the Brava can do in a single appliance. And arguably, the Brava probably does it better. You know, we've been incredibly happy with it, but, you know, almost $2,000. Now, the good news is you can use code MCOMER that knocks $200 off uh, the Brava glass. In fact, it knocks 200 bucks off any of the additions. So even if you go with a lower priced one that might come, you know, without the wireless temperature sensor and with fewer accessories and, you know, without the glass door, you also have a 30 day free trial. So in the event you don't like the Brava, which I don't think you will, you know, I think you'll fall in love with it much like we have done. Um, but within 30 days, you can send it back. Um, and you know, that's it. Overall to wrap this video up, uh, we absolutely love the Brava. It has simplified and sped up our meal prep. That means spending less time in the kitchen and spending more time enjoying the food as a family. Um, but especially if you're, you know, again, we are family of four, we cook a lot of food, you know, we couldn't do it with the Brava alone simply because of the amount of food that we cook. But if you're a singer, if you're a couple, if you're a small family, you can probably get away with just using the Brava and no other appliance that you would traditionally use for cooking. With that, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I try to reply to all of them. And with that, um, I hope you like this video. Like it, subscribe it, share, light a candle, whatever you have to do. I really appreciate your support and I hope I'll see you in the next video.